Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole. I have hooded eyes and I often do hooded eye tutorials. However, today we are going to not do the eyes at all. We are going to focus 100% on the skin and making our skin look glowy and radiant and beautiful. And we're going to pair it with a badass red lip. I don't think there's anything sexier than a girl who is rocking beautiful skin and a red lip. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you're in interested, I just posted a video all about my winter skincare routine and how I get my skin to look like this, what kind of skin I have, products I use, so check that out. And I also recently posted my favorite winter foundation routine, which is the routine I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to kind of speed through this. If you're interested in seeing that in a little more depth, go ahead and check that video out. But I've already primed my face with my Too Faced Hangover RX primer around the perimeter of my face, and then I used my Makeup Forever Step 1 right in my pore area. So I'm going to go ahead and go right into my foundation, which is that same routine, the Physician's Formula in LN3, and then the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage in 030 Sand Beige. Just taking my Japonese sponge to blend everything out. Foundation is on. I didn't go for such a heavy look because we're not adding like a heavy eye makeup. I do want the skin to still look like skin. So I didn't go in quite as heavy. So I would say this is like a medium coverage for the most part. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with my concealer. So I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way and I'm adding in a little bit of the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum in Fondant, which is quite light. But the mixture of these two, I think just look really hydrating under my eyes. All right, so I did set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 1. I'm almost hitting pan on this, which is really sad. Well, I did hit pan on it. I didn't almost hit pan. I'm almost done with it. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and go in and spray my face now since I did set to take away that powdery look. I'm just going to use my Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray. You can use whatever setting spray you have. This will just kind of take away that powdery look that no one really likes. Alright, so I'm going to go in and bronze a little bit since I'm really flat right now. And I'm just taking the Lorac Tantalizer. I don't usually go in with this, but this kind of provides a little more of a natural bronze, for me at least. And since the focus is going to be on that red lip, we don't want to go like super heavy everywhere else, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to take a little bit on this Face Studio brush. I got this from Marshalls, and it's like my favorite favorite bronzing brush besides my wet and wild i love it i think it just really gets into the areas i need so i'm just gonna lightly kind of go in and warm up the skin a little bit and then i always just kind of like to lightly go over to blend everything out so it looks nice and seamless. All right, so what I was saying before my camera so rudely shut off is I'm taking that bronzer and just kind of putting it right through the socket so it just kind of accentuates that contour. So you could see on this side, it's slightly accentuated, but it's not that prevalent so it doesn't look like you have shadow on. It's just kind of accentuating what you naturally have. So taking that bronzer, I'm just lightly with that same Morphe M502, working it through the socket bone. Not the bone, but you know what I mean. <laughs> this is a nice trick, using a bronzer instead of an eyeshadow, because bronzers are naturally a bit more sheer. So it stops you from going in too heavy. At this point, you could go in and contour if you wanted to. I just got a view in my little viewfinder and I could see how large my ears look when I put my hair back like this. 
Fun fact, I don't have that extra bit of cartilage that folks have right here, so my ears kind of go out. I had to like tape them back at graduation. It was a huge ordeal, but anyway, tangent over. I'm gonna go in and blush at this point with a little bit of a nice sheeny blush. This is Milani Dolce Pink, and I love this blush. This is an oldie but a goodie, and I haven't used it in a long time, and I recently saw someone using this, and I wanted to pull it out again. So I'm just gonna give a nice little smile and a nice little healthy blush. Don't want to go in too heavy handed. Everything I want kind of soft in this look. Minus the badass red lip. As for highlight, I don't want to go in too heavy with a highlight. So I'm actually going to take my ColourPop uh, highlighters, the Super Shock Cheek and I think I'm gonna go in with Lunch Money. Lunch Money is a little more gold. Flexitarian is a little more like white, champagne-y. So I think I'm gonna start with Lunch Money and see how that looks. And I don't wanna go in too heavy, so I'm gonna kinda warm it up on my finger and just press lightly around the cheek area. Then I'm gonna kind of work it up into the brow. At first, I didn't like these ColourPop highlights, but they've really, really grown on me lately, and I've been really enjoying them, especially for looks like this. And then I just wanna take my Beauty Blender, or whatever you have, mine's a Japanese sponge, and I tap right over so it melts with the skin really nicely. Again, we're going for like a skin look. And then I just want to take a little bit of the Desi Katie Dose of Colors and throw that right above the brow. Maybe touch on top of the highlight. I'm also going to take that Desi Katie highlight and throw that in the inner corner to just open things up in there since we're not adding any shadow. Now I just have a clear brow gel in my brows and I quite like how that looks, but I'm gonna go in just a tiny bit with my Brow Wiz by Anastasia. This is in the shade Medium Brown. I'm just gonna add a couple of you know, like hair-like strokes to fill in it a little, but I'm not looking for an Instagram brow and I'm not looking for a perfect brow. I'm just looking for a little bit more fullness where I need it. Now I do dye my brows with a product from Amazon. It's called Godfrey. I probably do that once every, oh, three weeks. And that really allows me to be able to just kind of brush my brows up rather than go in with like a full brow. And my eyebrows are not perfect right now. I definitely need to pluck or get them threaded, but you could see how it just looks a little more full as compared to this one, but it still looks really nice and natural and like hair. All right, so once again, I'm gonna just spray everything with the Scandinavia setting spray and I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply a quick coat of mascara. No falsies, once again, focus is on the lip. All right, so that is the skin. You could go in with a nude liner on the waterline if you wanted to. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I think I might leave it as is, but I wanna start in on the lips. So we are going to go in with the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Morning. This is just beautiful. I have a whole video on her lipsticks. They are stunning, the most unique, beautiful formula I've ever seen. They are highly pigmented. They last all day. They are so comfortable. They're just beautiful. If you don't know who Lisa Eldridge is, please check her out on YouTube. She's a celebrity makeup artist, just does the most stunning makeup. She has a book that I love. She seems like just such a wonderful human as well. So please check her out. I'll leave her details down below. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade. This is kind of like an orangey red. So I'm going to add the NYX Orange Liner first. I did want to mention you don't even need a liner with these because they are so pigmented. It's really just a one swipe, but I like don't have a steady of a hand to be able to do that. So I just like to line so I have like an outline of where to, you know, 
put the lipstick. And here we go, Velvet Morning. I mean, like, look at that. One little swipe, full pigment, beautiful. And that liner just goes perfectly. For my outer corners, I'm actually gonna go in with a brush because I have like full lips in the middle and then they kind of get thinner on the outside. So it's kind of hard with a bullet to go in. So I'm gonna grab a brush for that. If this doesn't scream showstopper lip, I don't know what does. I don't know if you guys could tell, but when I put on these lipsticks, I'm just so happy. Like I smile ear to ear because they make me feel so good and they're everything I ever wanted in a lipstick. They are highly pigmented, they are super comfortable, they are super long wearing, and they are a true showstopper. I think Lisa's gonna be restocking these at some point, if not this year, next year. So as soon as these come back in stock, I promise you guys, I will let you know on my YouTube and on my Instagram because it is just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. All three colors. That is it for this one, you guys. This whole makeup was inspired around the lipstick. I don't know about you, but when I put on a red lipstick, I feel like such a badass and like I'm just gonna get things done. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.